Hello everyone, welcome to two-factor authentication course. In this video, I am going to explain how to enable the cross-origin resource sharing in the Spring Boot application while implementing a two-factor authentication service. I hope you guys have watched my previous videos such as database design changes for two-factor authentication and how to enable the 2FA in the authorization server and then how to send the 2FA code by using email and SMS. So if you guys are not watched those videos, please watch those videos first and then come to this video to enable the cross origin resource sharing. The previous video links has been given in the description section. So in this video, I am going to show you how to enable the cross origin resource sharing. Already the application is running in my machine to send the SMS and then to send the Gmail to a fake code. Okay, first I will show that. Look at here. This is the application I developed by using Spring Boot application two-factor service. Here I have an REST API. will send the email and SMS. Okay, I hope if you guys were watched my previous video, you will get an idea about this. Now I am going to run this application. This application is running on the Tomcat port 8080. In this demo, I am going to change this port number also. Okay, this is the URL to send the 2FA code. Okay, now I am going to send the 2FA code now. Look at here, I got the 200 OK response. This URL will send a 2FA code in the email. Look at here, I received an email from our service. Look at here, your two-factor authentication code from our service. Your two-factor authentication code is 9096. Okay, I received the 2FA code. And also look at these headers. There is no content length, sorry. There is no content length and then the date headers only is there. But there is no CORS related response headers. Now I am going to add the CORS related headers here. Cross control allow origin headers. I am going to add it so that our application can be accessed from any port. Okay. And also web browsers will not throw any errors like pre-flight response error and then no access control resource header is not present those headers i mean those issues will not come after we adding the cors headers now i am going to add it and then the port number also i am going to change this the first step i am going to change the port number so by default the application is running on the port number 8080 now i am going to change the server dot port number is 8087 okay and then now i am going to create a class called simple cors filter simple cors filter this class file is is extends here servlet filter sorry this class file will implement the servlet filter and also this class file will act as a component class okay so this class will implements the servlet filter also this class should be the is to precedence so that's why i added the order annotation to get the first preference for this simple CORS filter component class file. I am creating an empty constructor here for this class file. And also I am overriding the init method and destroy method. Here I am importing the filter config import statement. I overrided the do filter method and then I added all the response headers related to the CORS. Look at here, access control allow origin I added as a star. Any server can be access our resource or if you want to specify the particular domain, you can specify it here. For example, if you want to access our resources, only the request coming from the 8000 port, you can add it here. Otherwise, if you want to allow all the resources, 
to anyone you can add it star and then what are the access control allow methods the post get put delete and options method and then the response set header i added the access control maximum age is 3600 seconds and then the allow headers what are the headers we should allow so i added requested with authorization and content type if the request method is an options just we are sending a HTTP status code OK. Otherwise, I am calling a chain dot do filter method. This option method will call when you are running an application into the local host. Otherwise, it won't make any calls. Okay. Now I am going to run this application once again. Already the application is running. Now I am going to stop this and then start it once again. And also the server port number also we changed. The server port number is 8087. Now the application will be started on the 8087. Look at here, the application has been started in the 8087 port and also the Tomcat has been started in 11 seconds. Okay. Now I am going to change the port 8087. Now I am going to send the 2FA code to my email ID once again. After send the request, look at here, I got the HTTP status code 200 OK. Now we got the headers. Whatever the headers we added in the servlet filter, we got that. Access control allow header, access control allow methods, access control allow origin, access control maximum age and content length. Now your resource can be accessed to any port number because we added the access control allow origin as a star. And also, I received a email from our service. Look at here, I received a mail. Your two-factor authentication code is 3883. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like my videos and share my videos. Next video, I will upload how to integrate the two-factor authentication system in our web application. Thank you very much.